Hello, welcome back to the Gazelle Gadget Lab. This is Anthony. Today we have the unboxing of the Acer Liquid Android phone. So this is our first uh, phone we've ever had from Acer. So let's take a quick look at it. Here's the packaging. It's a pretty fancy box actually. Open it up. This is the white version. It comes in two colors, white and, uh, and black. Here's the white one. Into the specs a little bit. So here's the, the box we have. Just some uh, Acer, the software, a user manual, and a guide. Nothing. But here's a here's the box. Cool. It's, it opens up kind of cool, sideways like that. You can see it. So over here you have uh, a plug plug adapter. Uh, two gigabyte micro SD, uh, stereo headphones. And over here you have basic charger. So with the box, let's get back, let's get into the phone. I already have the battery right here and I put a, a one gigabyte micro SD just so we could take some, uh, some pictures. Let's power this thing on. Okay, so let me get into some of the features while this is power on. It's a uh, quad band GSM, tri-band HSDPA, uh, it's 115 by 62 and a half by 12 and a half for dimensions. We can take a look at it next to my E72 in terms of uh, size. It does feel, it feels a little cheap plastic, not as solid as an E72, but it's also, it's pretty big. It's not that, it's not really that pocket friendly. Look, we can look at the profile right here. So this, you can see the E72 is metal and we have, uh, put that to the side, we have a pretty much a, a plasticky pretty much all plastic, Acer liquid. But uh, it's not that bad. It's, it's not huge, but it's, it's, it's pretty solid in your hand. Okay, so into the, out of the screen right here. So here's, this is Android 1.6. They just, just announced the Acer Liquid E uh, with 2.1 with Android. The E's uh, for Eclair. Uh, with this version, there's no uh, there's no form of upgrade whatsoever, so you're pretty much stuck with a, a 1.6. That's why they came out with the E. And what this does feature is uh, an Acer, they call it Acer 3.0 UI. So it does look a little bit different, but nothing too too crazy. I'll show you that on the other screens. So we see a, a 480 by 800 pixel resolution with 3.5 inch screen. Uh, it does have Obviously, a uh, MP3 ringtones, 3.5 uh, audio jack here. Uh, we see 256 megabytes of RAM with a 512 megabyte ROM. Then we have the memory card, whatever you want to put it into, up to eight uh, eight gigabytes. Uh, it does have uh, Wi-Fi, five five megapixel camera, which we'll get into. Uh, shoots video VGA uh, 20 frames per second. Uh, GPS. Facebook, Flickr integration, Android, app market, all that stuff. So let's get into this again. Okay, so here's your menu. You have the three three basic uh, start screens. So this is your first start, start screen, then you have one to the left, one to the right, and that's where you see the, the Acer UI. So this one you have some Acer little widgets. So you see Acer registration, Acer mobile, and then you see Acer.com. So I haven't gone into this too much. So I just got this phone. And over here you have uh, a little, another Acer UI for multimedia. So you can see photos and then up here music and video. So it's pretty cool. It's nothing, it's nothing too fancy. It's just pretty, it's pretty simple stuff, but it is only for Acer Android phones. Okay, and then what else we have in here? This is the the basic screen you see in most like the HTC Hero, and it's nothing nothing too out of the ordinary. So I have put a couple apps on here, but like I said before, we can get into uh, we can take a look at the camera. It does have a five megapixel camera, so it's not that bad. So let's take a look at this. I'll take a picture of the seventy one, the seventy two. Photo buttons. 
So now we can go we can go back into that into that Acer UI and take a look at it. Let's get out of here one second. Okay. So go to pictures. And here's the the picture we just took. Okay, so it's not it's not terribly that it's not that bad. It's pretty decent quality for a five megapixel camera. Pretty good. Uh, overall, I think this is a it's a decent device for for the price tag. I wouldn't say it's nothing too uh, too spectacular. It's pretty much every one point six Android device pretty much seems the same to me. Just the build seems a little different. This one is a little bit uh, a little bit bulky and not not that pocket friendly, but it is a uh, overall it's a pretty cool looking device. Uh, I would recommend this right along with uh, the HTC Hero, pretty much on the same level. What I did like about it, I love this, the screen quality is great, and it does have a, a 768 Snapdragon processor, so it doesn't have the one gig processor, but it, uh, it is pretty quick going through everything. Uh, the micro SD, like I said before, one bad thing is the, obviously there's no camera flash with, the, with this, and there's no web flash support. So besides those two setbacks, it's a, it's a pretty decent smartphone. Uh, this is Anthony with the Gazelle Gadget Lab. Thanks.